Hi, Liz. Even I hear <laughs> I'm calling you because I, I heard uh, from my colleagues that you developed something very interesting for I Belong project, Dialogue Days Toolkit. So tell me what this document offers. Well, we've been running these Dialogue Days at Edge Hill and they've been going really well. We've been trying to help students to make a good transition and to really feel like they belong and understand about being successful. So what we did was we put all the information together and shared it with people. So really it provides a guide and all the templates and materials we developed so that other people can use them in their own universities. Mm -hmm. And what's your favorite feature in it? Well, I suppose I, I like the activities. I like the activities that really encourage people to talk about their own experiences and stories, but I also like the evidence. So I like evaluation. So I think the fact that we can prove that things worked that's really good as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, how do we use it? Is it like a printout or uh, we should just get acquainted before we organize Dialogue Days? Does it help us understand how to organize Dialogue Days? How do we yeah. use this? Yeah, no, I think it does quite a few things, really. I think you can use it to make the case so that the university will support you to deliver them. I think that's why the evidence is really important. It helps to show it makes a difference. And then it provides you a kind of a walkthrough about what the day would look like and the things you need to make sure happen. So it's really important, for example, that it's embedded into your, into your delivery. It's not just something that's optional. Students have all got to come. You also need to work hard to get some of your academic colleagues to come along because they don't always want to come if they think that you're going to teach that session for them. So it really walks you through and it gives you the activities and talks about the things that you might want to think about. And we've got options. You can do it online or face-to-face -face as well. Okay, a lot. And uh, tell me, uh, what's the, what do you think is the main benefit of doing the Dialogue Days and using this toolkit? Well, there's lots of benefits really, but one of them is that it really helps to get students feeling comfortable and really understanding that you as a course recognize diversity and value diversity. You don't just tolerate it, but see it as a real strength and help students to understand that not everybody feels comfortable when they first arrive at university. Most people have got a whole range of anxieties about the cause, the experience, the friends and those kinds of things. So it helps to kind of surface some of those and sharing staff experiences as well as other students really helps people to feel that actually they can fit in and belong at our university. It's a friendly university. That's one of the things that people said. So, so I think the advantages are really helping students to understand the process of, of being successful and the importance of engaging and belonging in that experience. I find uh, I, I, I had a look in the toolkit and I uh, look forward to having it online uh, on our website. But uh, I was just wondering, did you ever come across a similar toolkit? Did you ever find something similar for your work? Or are we totally kind of like offering something novel to uh, academic community? There's been a lot of work on, on induction and transition, but I think what we're sharing are the actual tools, the things that we use to deliver the programme. So I had to support colleagues across the university to deliver the programme. So that meant that we kind of prepared documents that they could use and run with. So it's, it's perhaps more real world rather than an abstract document about what works. So yeah, I think it probably is quite innovative. Okay, thank you. I think now I have much better idea what's the toolkit that we will soon have on our website. Uh, anything else or we can close the call? No, I think you find it's really useful if, you, if you're working with students and, and helping them to kind of develop their identity and fit in in their institution. And we found it really engaged staff as well and they kind of bought into it. So hopefully you can do the same at your university. Yeah, I would love to see my former university doing that because uh, I missed something like that. We were always like very distant, you know, uh, teachers, students. So uh, I think uh, everyone can benefit from it. Thank yeah. you, Liz. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Nice Bye. to talk to you. Take care. Bye.